in this video we will discuss about how to return complex types in a procedure before we proceed i would like to tell you that this is my github page and here i'll be uploading all the programs which i am explaining in the video so you can use it for your reference and please start this page and the next one is this is my blog here i will be uploading all the instructions detail in a detailed manner so you can if you click on any one uh, blog and if you really feel that blog is very helpful to you so you can just uh, follow my blog by clicking here and uh, this is my um, youtube channel so you can see here that i'll be uploading all the videos here uh, in a proper um you can see all the videos here and if you really like that this video that particular video any video which really helped you a lot to learn something and if you want to thank me if you want to show your support so you can click here thanks before we proceed let us understand what is a complex type okay so basically in business general we have different types of data that is if you want to store uh, the number then probably you have to use numbers that is integer okay and if you want to store the string you have to use text okay so these are all single values right so this is what the fundamental data types okay we have two types of data types in business central and you have to tell what type of data you are going to create while you declare a variable so where you will be declaring a variable if you use where it means that you are going to declare a variable and under that you will be creating a variable name okay that is a variable name for example age and with the colon you have to specify what is the data type of that particular variable and if you wanted to display the name and near that you have to tell with the colon you have to tell what is the data type of that particular variable so by bc by default cannot understand that what is this data okay even you can use name and declare that as an integer okay what you are going to declare based on that only bc will understand you are going to create an integer you are going to uh, store an integer value you are going to store a string value so whenever you declare a variable then you have to tell what is that data data type okay so the fundamental data types that is specifically for numeric okay if it is a numeric data we have various uh, uh, under that we have you can even go hold the action it is it might be an integer it might be a big integer it might be a decimal character byte duration anything it might be and if you wanted to use the string data so the string data it might be text it might be code okay so code in the sense if you wanted to store the employee code you can simply use a code or the these are all fundamental data boolean value true or false date time and date time okay these are all the fundamental data apart from this we have another fundamental data like option okay um if you wanted to show up the options to uh, the people then you can use the options for that so these are all fundamental so what about the complex data types complex data types in the sense here in fundamental you will be storing only one value to that particular variable whereas complex data types if you wanted to work with the records in a table if you wanted to store the complete table records in a single variable if you wanted to store the picture or a disk file these data types can store multiple values right okay so if, if you want to store the pictures this will be stored as a blob that is binary large object and if you want to store the table so table a single table may consist of four rows or uh, four columns and multiple records so if you wanted to store this complete uh, structure of a table this complete data of a table to a single variable then we call it as a complex data type so the complex data type involves big text blob like binary large object code unit all the business central objects almost all like uh, you can think about page query code unit table okay so table if you want to store the table you will be using record and then you have to specify what table it is record reference which means any table you can refer to system table filter variant list and dictionary so these holds multiple data so where you, we call these as an complex data type okay so we'll be telling i'll we'll be learning now about how to return a complex data type to a procedure 
okay so how to call that particular procedure so that is what we are going to see now so uh, we are going to create a simple method okay so we, let us create an another method here probably under this okay so procedure and then you can create a customer we, we will call the customer table okay so get customer name okay customer name and then inside the parenthesis i'm just going to create something called text okay and where i'm just going to make this as a record and i'm just going to hold the customer data here okay so uh, we will be calling this okay we will be calling this we uh, we have created this as a customer yes so okay so let us just uh, create it with the body begin and end okay so now you can create a variable here inside the procedure where i'm just going to declare customer colon record customer so i'm just going to hold the customer record into this variable and inside the begin and end what i'm going to do is what i'm going to filter the name okay so already we have discussed about the set filter get filter and everything you can go and watch that if you have missed it so i'm just going to call the name because this is the field and name which we have already in the customer data and i'm just going to filter it using um plus name and plus hashtags so let us see i'll just tell you what i'm trying to do it so customer dot find first okay whatever is coming first it will be finding it first and i'm just passing the customer back to the procedure sorry back to the calling uh, area okay so then this is what what it is happening is what um we have used this customer and i just wanted to call this somewhere in the action so i'm just going to create an another action here with an another uh, um probably yes we can create action and a complex uh we can make it as complex data type complex data or customer customer call okay and then inside the block so we're going to we're going to create a block here and application area equal to all and okay and i'm going to create a trigger on action begin and end inside that i'm just going to call this procedure get customer name so get customer name inside i just wanted to call i want to pass the name of that procedure some name you just wanted to try it you just wanted to get it so i can just pass some variable into it directly for example komati but i know i'm i'm sure that there is no customer name with the code with uh, the string komati but let me just try okay so i'm just passing the value here okay so let us first go and explore is there any customer name here uh, in the customer what is the name over here so i'm just going to try get the business central and i'm going to search the customer table here to find the first name okay so i'm just i just want to get the first name so what i'm trying to do with uh, what the this method will take the name and return the first customer record that matches the name okay so uh, here what i'm going to okay let me just find the customer so i'm just going to pass this here okay so let me just save this and i'm executing this okay so what it will do is it will just go and search for that particular name whatever the name i'm just passing it and also it will search for that name and if it that name finds then it will just go and uh, uh, find the first name here so let us see what is happening uh, whether it founds the name or not okay i'm just going to click the customer call here 
okay so i just wanted to display some message over there so that is why um yes so begin i'm just going to print the name okay name of the customer so Let's save this and execute. Let's see what is happening here. Okay, so it is showing up the customer name, the Canon group. Okay, because I just try to find that name. Let me look for some other name because uh, let us see. Let us uh, see what it is trying to find out. So I N I A N. Uh, I'm sorry. So that is not uh, D E R. So this is what the customer name, right? So sorry, it's what. Let us just copy this and I'm just going to paste it here. Oh, so the field. Okay, let, let me just try the if I -L -D. Um, let us save this and execute it. Okay, so here you can see that here we have a customer call. You can see that it founds that particular customer and it is returning me back. So this is how if you wanted to use the complex data type in a, a function okay so that is also possible here and this is a very simple example for you to understand like how it works it going to work okay so how it works uh, how you can declare a complex data type here so how i have declared it here and here uh, since i just wanted to uh, get the name from this particular record so i have used here name so if you wanted to get some other uh, variable if you wanted to pass it as a parameter, then you can probably do that. And if you wanted to just add some more into it, so you can just try to call this if you if you have a number or if you know any specific, um, if you know any specific uh, along with that particular uh, proper data type, you have to specify that. Okay, so you can just call um, if you want to uh, ensure that if you wanted to call any specific particular um, records in that particular table, then that is possible with this procedure. So this procedure here in Business Central will be really useful for you. If you want to do, um, if you want to pass the value uh, that is passed by value or passed by reference or passed by complex types. So all these things are possible. So in the previous video, I have already discussed about how to pass by value, pass by reference. You can see that. And here we have tried um, pass complex data data types or complex types probably so you can also try this whenever you get time so this is very very easy and simple to try so please explore this and uh, um, leave me leave the comments if you get a proper response or if you're struggling somewhere if you want to execute so you can probably reach me out thank you take care bye bye and i'll be uploading all these uh, source codes in the github so you can just watch it thank you take care